Taking a look now at the High Five in North Dallas tonight. Traffic moving pretty well there. Doesn't look like drivers are worried too much about the bridges there in that area. Area police departments have worked hundreds of crashes, though, from fender benders to the much more serious. Oh, no, he's sliding. There he goes. Our storm chaser, Jason McLaughlin, was behind this big rig on Highway 287 as it started to slide. Fortunately, the trucker was able to correct his steering without crashing. I thought we were back and forth, and I hit. I wound up over here. As the freezing drizzle continued to fall, Steve Shouts found himself explaining to police about hitting an icy patch and sliding off the road. To be honest about it, I felt like myself had kind of snuck up on me, although it shouldn't have. But another car that wrecked in that same area of Trinity Boulevard and Greenbelt in Fort Worth sent the driver to the hospital. You okay? In Grand Prairie, two firefighters are nursing minor injuries. They were working several crashes on I-20 and Great Southwest Parkway. Our photographer says he saw a car skid and hit one of those firefighters. From ice scrapers to sand trucks. It's been a long day for everyone. It was even longer for Grace Montez of Everman. I said that because the car has no, no heater, everything just froze up and I can't, I can't drive very far. That is ice and they're kind of sliding a little bit. I, I know and the travel troubles on. didn't stop with humans. A trailer flipped in Wise County, spilling cattle onto the road and eventually a cold field. Quite a mess out there, and this will really put it into perspective. These are numbers from MedStar in Fort Worth. They just released them to us tonight uh, about the calls that they responded to. They responded to 170 crashes where someone was hurt. They also showed up to help 23 different people who fell on ice. MedStar has treated one person to, uh, for exposure to the cold since midnight.